first Game Boy Hunter Hunter game we're going to look at is Kinda no Hiho, or Forbidden Treasure. This is a Game Boy Color Konami game, and it's essentially a Castlevania clone. But that's not really a complaint. It's a pretty fun if simplistic action RPG, and to be frank, Konami created Castlevania, so can't really say they're ripping it off. You play as Gon, wielding your fishing pole sort of like a whip, and collecting coins while leveling up your health, attack, defense, and ability points by defeating enemies. You can gain different equipment and items throughout the game by finding or purchasing them from sellers. There are also different Nen abilities to use, which are essentially magic spells such as healing, defense, and attack spells, which use up your ability points. You fight bosses and find healing rooms where you can save, which becomes especially important as the game becomes more metroidvania-like as you progress, although it never really reaches that level of backtracking or exploration. Additionally, the language barrier is limited to being able to navigate the menus, which will likely take some time for anyone who can't read Kana, but shouldn't be too overwhelming as the menu options are pretty standard RPG fare. Overall, I found this game fun, despite a slow pace and a straight up nonsensical difficulty curve at times. That being said, you're probably better off just playing a Castlevania game, except for the Castlevania Adventure, you don't need to play that one. But if you really just want to have a Hunter Hunter game, this is a solid choice merely for being a somewhat decent game while also having less of a language barrier than most of the other choices. On top of that, the Game Boy is a region free game system meaning there's no extra legwork involved in getting import games to run. Not a stellar game by any means, but if you happen to be both a Hunter x Hunter fan and a Game Boy enthusiast, this is probably the Hunter game for you.